What is up, dudes, dudettes, and dudes who defy description? And a hot, warm welcome to Awesome Fun in Minecraft with me, your host. That's me, Oz. Oh, yes. So nice to be back with you here today. In our last episode, we added the Robin Reliant from Only Fools and Horses to our Starlight Drive-In. And today, we are adding another awesome vehicle from Classic TV to our drive-in. It's over here. See if you can guess what it is. Well, actually, if you've seen the title to the video, that's the problem with YouTube. You know, it's, it's hard to surprise people and provide accurate information. Anyway, we're going to be adding this into our drive-in. It is the A-Team van that you can see here. This was a lot of fun to design and quite difficult as well because it contains uh, basically lots of things that Minecraft doesn't do. You know, if Minecraft could add basically concrete you could turn it into slabs and stairs i think that would be everything you would ever need uh, but when you've got something that's black and red you're kind of limited in the colors you can choose but i'm going to talk about that and tell you about that as i talk about how to actually build this thing now to build this thing you're going to need all the materials that i have got here inside of my inventory but as this is a tutorial video all of this information will be left in the description below so do check it out all right without further ado let's get on with building our own version of this Start out by building yourself a rectangle out of dirt that goes four blocks this way and uh, seven blocks this way. So that was four and seven. Then grab yourself a, some a black concreto and put it on top of every single block all the way around. Once you've got one, essentially just add another two on top. So go one, two and build it around. As you can see, a lot of these blocks will be coming out, but this gives you a nice initial framework to deal with. And there we have it. Next off, you're gonna to wanna to grab a polished andesite slabs and place them, as you can see there, all across the front here. A set, oh, easy now, easy now, odds. Almost fell off. Right, place a second row along here and then you're going to want to place two behind it like that once you've done that you grab yourself your black concrete and fill the rest of this area here now this is where one of the tricky this was tricky to kind of mimic this thing because what you need to have with this is the van is actually it's got a red stripe that comes down it it's black beneath the red stripe and it's actually gray above the top of it. You, you don't think that, you just think it's black and red, but when you actually look at the picture of it, it's got basically half of it up here is a kind of gray color. And it, it's hard to do that without making this thing massive. That's one way you can always make super accurate things. The bigger you go, the easier it is, the smaller, the more challenging, but, but fun challenging. So th that was a tricky thing. So that's why I went with putting this on the roof to give it that kind of style that it is partially gray on top. And one of the difficulties is, it's, as I was mentioning earlier, it's concrete. It would be great if it came in half slabs and stairs because there's a lot that you can do with that. A lot you can do with that. Anyways, back to the build and we'll talk about this more later on. The last thing we have to do up here is add just another slab on there. You could use two blocks, of course, instead to give us that top section there. Awesome. Now let's have a wee jump down and see how we're looking. Yep, we are coming together. So let's go ahead and put the wheels on this thing, maybe. So we're just going to take out the block one in from the end on both sides. Just simple as that and exactly the same on the other side. Then we're going to grab ourselves item frames and I believe, what did we go with? Oh yeah, red. So the wheels are kind of black with red trim. And again, this is the closest you can get. It'd be cool if you, there's probably mods you can get that make item frames invisible. That would be cool. And now we can go ahead and remove ourselves out the dirt that is all around now. It's all gone. Now the next thing to do is let's work on the front from the bottom up. So what we need, as you can see, is item frames that go here and here. Inside the item frames, we're going to put white stained glass to represent some headlights here. And then we're going to go ahead and take out these two blocks here. Grab ourselves our black concrete again. And we need to place two blocks just in there. And this is trying to help give it some nice shape on the front. Now we're also going to want to add some levers underneath because we're about to put in some trap doors. So we'll put in two levers 
one here and one here. Give them a flick. And then put on two iron trap doors. And if you don't basically use the levers on like this, the trap doors will flap open and that lo looks weird. As in the ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that as an example. This is that's oh, a disaster. And there we go. No one needs to know that ever happened. Now our next thing that we're going to do is grab ourselves our iron bars and put them across the front. Now the actual van itself has a black bull bar that comes around and then it kind of wraps around the side. But I just thought this does not look good. It looks weird if you do that on both sides. So this is the compromise. And of course, as I say, it is black, but you don't get black iron bars in Minecraft. So the next thing we need to do is then take out the blocks one two down from the front all across the front as I say the front two then put in our white stained glass panes as the windows there and you the thing is uh, the reason I don't use clear glasses because I think it's <laughs> it's too clear right, as the name implies and so you can you can't really see it that's why I like to use white glass then on the very top here we're going to add ourselves two item frames didn't need to jump to do that but it is fun uh, but I will need to jump to put them in two panes there and again there's basically a whole bunch of different lights across the top of the van so this is just kind of representing them because you don't you don't have very many small things that you can kind of place you can there's nothing you can really place that looks right on a slab and yeah you, the other thing you could do is as with the slimer example in the ghostbuster headquarter here you could use the armor stand mod to lift up small items and that way you could get smaller items in and out and place them there and around the place but I don't want to do my builds with the armor stand mod as the main thing so yeah, I know that a lot of people don't use mods and it's more fun to take on the challenge of building something you know in vanilla the best you can so we're gonna now grab two acacia buttons and place one on that side one on that side you can also see while we've got them out you put one on the very back corner here and another one on this back corner here. But hey, look at that. That front is looking nice. So we're going to come to the side here. Probably going to have to grab a sleep in the middle of this at some point. Get ourselves our red nether brick stairs. And we're going to place it one, two, three along like that. So one, two, three. Chuck in these things here. And then we have one at the back here. And then we take out this, we actually take out these two blocks here, grab our red nether brick stairs and place an upside down one there. Then going to repeat the same thing on the other side, so take out these two blocks. There we are, but the same on both sides. You can see that also on this other version here, it doesn't have, if we have a look, at these six blocks here, they're all taken out. Let's deal with the back of the vehicle now. So grab yourself birch buttons, redstone block, and item frames. Place an item frame. No, I always get this wrong. Place the button first, then place the item frame, then place the redstone block in the item frame. And that gives ourselves some rear reverse lights there. Now we're going to fill in the back bit here. We're going to go one, two, a three, and a four, All right? And that gives us our back. Then I use tripwire hooks as sort of handles, as if these are doors that can open. So there we go. If we have a look at our back on our original version, we have got this looking pretty good. Now it's time to get up on this baby. So we'll grab yourself some disposable blocks and you can build yourself a stairway to get on top of your vehicular. Now if we look at the back here, what we've got in the back here, if we grab our slabs and red nether bricks, you place a brick on either side and then the slabs. And this is why I didn't go for red concrete, although it would have looked better for the stripe because you don't get the stairs and the slabs. You can't do this cool bit at the back and I think this is a nice bit of detail because yeah, this is something that is on the 18 van and it's pretty cool. Uh, next, we're gonna grab our iron bars again and add ourselves at iron bars here and here to act as an aerial for the top of the vehicle. And that is our top bit done as well. Nice and simple. This is this is the fun thing about vehicles. It takes a couple hours to come up with a design, but then they're so quick and easy to build. It is awesome. So the last thing we need to do, I mean, it's pretty much there if you wanted to leave it this way. But what I like to do is grab ourselves another block so we can get inside. 
smash into the side of this. And we're going to fill in the bottom here with black concrete so it's got a base. But so you can't really see this from the outside anyway. Then we're going to pop down smooth red sandstone stairs to act as our seats. And then in the front, as always, even though you can never actually see this in any of the designs I've made, but I still like it. We put in our music disc. Is it a music disc? Yeah. I always think it's a record, but it's, it is a music disc. And that is our steering wheel that we can use to steer it in our minds, in our imaginations. So let's see if we can crouch. No, I didn't think this was going to work. <sighs> Hoist by my own design. Now I can get it. That's that area sealed back up. We grab ourselves our block back. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, dudes, dudettes, and dudes who defy description, we have built ourselves a version of the A-Team van in Minecraft. Now we want to get our awesome A-Team vehicle out of the tutorial building area and over to the Starlight Driving. And how do we do that? Well, we do that the way we do everything. Well, everything fun. In the form of a time lapse. So, hit it! -ta. I love it when a build comes together. Oh yeah, this thing is looking awesome. The perfect vehicle if you don't want to be getting on, no plane. And it joins here and actually what is becoming the 80s row of the drive-in movie theater where we have the DeLorean, the A-Team van and Ecto-1. So what can we put in this last spot here I wonder? Definitely, if you've got any ideas, particularly if they fit the 80s theme here, or just any kind of vehicles that you would like to see added in to the various spaces that remain, there's not a lot of them, in the Starlight Drive-In. But what a cool build. That was so much fun. And I hope you enjoyed seeing it built and have fun building it if that's what you plan to do yourself. Now, thank you very much for watching today's video. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to do all those youtube -y things. You know what they are. I need to say them not. I'm not going to hit the horse with the trident. I'm just trying to get on it, but it's really hard in this mode. Yeah, I'm going to work on getting on this in this mode in my own personal time. And we'll see you next time for more awesome fun in Minecraft with me, Oz. Take care out there. Bye-bye.